Hey guys, welcome to Zep Collector 98 and today I'm here to show you a really cool fruit. Um, I saw this fruit in Hawaii and I really liked the taste of it and I wasn't able to buy any at the time and I just couldn't wait to make this video so I'm going to show you guys right off the bat. Well, can you guess what it is first of all? It tastes like juicy fruit bubble gum. It's really big and it grows on a tree. It's the largest fruit in the world. It's this fruit right here. It's called a jackfruit. And I bought it from an Asian market. This was $15 because the guy cut it in half for me. I would never be able to eat the whole fruit anyways. It's just too big for one person. So this fruit, before it was cut, it was right around 15 pounds and it would have cost $30. 15 times 2. So $15 for a fruit, that's still quite a bit of money but it's a large fruit anyways, so I guess you get what you pay for. When I was in Hawaii, there was a fruit, maybe slightly, it looked slightly larger than this. It was about $25, but of course you're gonna pay less in a place where it just grows naturally, and they have to pay for shipping as well. Um, I'm not sure where this was grown, I'm guessing somewhere like in Thailand, and it smells really good too. Kind of smells like juicy fruit. And to tell how when it's ripe, um, it's supposed to be slightly yellowish. I don't know if you guys can tell that. Maybe it looks more green to you. But it's supposed to look slightly yellowish and supposed to start have brown spots forming on the spines. It's not, they're not exactly uh, sharp or pokey like the durian fruit, although it looks like it is related. I'm not sure exactly if it is or isn't, but it does look like it's kind of related. Um... There is no latex also. One thing, yes, to mention the latex is when you have an unripe jackfruit, there is latex that will come out of the fruit itself and it's really sticky. So I've heard that you want to coat all the surfaces that come in contact with the fruit with an oil so that you can remove the latex easier. And so what you guys eat is the yellow stuff in here, the yellow bulbs that uh, surround the seeds. You don't eat the seeds, um, they're toxic, and this stuff right here I'm going to show you. It's like a stringy white kind of stuff. I don't know exactly what it's called. You don't eat that either, but it's just like stringy stuff that surround the fruit as well. And surprisingly, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of actual edible parts inside the fruit, but we'll find out. Alright, so I'm going to basically just scoop it out, and I don't have to worry about latex because there's none here. Um, okay, I guess a spoon is not working. And I'm actually going to try to grow these seeds too, because I have had jackfruit in a can before. And I there was there were seeds in it too actually, but because it was already canned, um, the seeds would not be viable anymore. Gosh, I can't seem to get the fruit out itself. It's well okay. I'm gonna show you guys the seeds. So it looks like a large cocoa bean actually. So really slippery too. Um, yeah, it's just a, like, I don't know, a really large bean. Bigger than a cocoa bean, actually. Okay. I got it. I think. Alright, so this is the flesh right here. There's a little seed coat in it. I'm going to pull that out also. Because I don't want to eat that. Gosh. It's really messy, just like a durian. Watch out again for these uh, whitish skin, like I don't know, these long stringy things that hang out, hang out from it. Okay, so I'm gonna try a piece of it, guys. Let's find out. It tastes like juicy fruit. Um. Not as juicy, <laughs> juicy, as the jackfruit in Hawaii, obviously because it was completely ripe there, taken right off the tree, so fresh. Um, if they were to send you a completely ripe fruit, 
they would be rotten and spoiled before you guys even got it. So it's pretty good though for as close as you're going to get in the mainland here. Unless you grow it actually in your yard or somewhere nice and warm where it can survive. But it's actually pretty good. Not as much flavor as um, what I remember from Hawaii, but it's still there. It's like very reminiscent. There's a little bit of that uh, stringy part, so I'm going to rip that off. It's really good though. So once again, here's the fruit. It's really shiny and smooth, so it's weird though. And basically, if you guys actually want to try jackfruit and you can't get fresh stuff, get some canned jackfruit because it literally tastes the same. It's not like pears or something like that or pineapple when you get it um, canned. It actually tastes very similar to the canned stuff. Mm. Guys, I really like this fruit. If you don't believe me on what it tastes like compared to Juicy Fruit Bubblegum, well, you've got to try it and you're missing out. So, um, I will post that video on my passion fruit flower. Unfortunately, the flowers all fell off. I, f I pollinated them according to how I thought I should. Um, I, ha I looked up the re possible reasons as to why that might happen. And it said that if you over fertilize, the flowers will fall off, but the plant will still look like it's thriving. Um, which I did fertilize it, so maybe that was a problem. I shouldn't do that at anymore. But yeah, um, it's really disappointing. I actually wanted some passion fruit because it's really good stuff. And the flowers are amazing, but I guess I'll have to wait till next year. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back with another video.